Super Janie. She can run super fast. I can? Yes. Wow. Can she run the speed of light? No! Nothing can run the speed of light. Who said that? This is the equation for space-time relativity. Time is equal to the time observed over the square root of 1 minus velocity over the speed of light squared. This equation solves for the time an object experiences, and it has a constant of the speed of light. Our two variables are time and velocity. Here we see Super Janie running at a normal velocity. Now let's see what happens when we double her velocity. Her time gets smaller. Now let's double it again. Now the time she experienced is extremely small. All right, Super Janie, that's enough. Thank you. Thank you, Super Janie. Look, what happened to you? Well, I aged 50 years. What about me? Well, you probably only aged about five. Are you sure? Well, yes. As you as you approach the speed of light, the time that you experienced went down. So you technically traveled through time. Oh, all right. Well, I think that's good enough for today. Again! No! What have you done? You've made her velocity the speed of light. Well, I wanted to see what would happen. That's what happens. She's dead. All because of you. Curse you, relativity! What have you done? Now the velocity's bigger than the speed of light. You've killed her. She's dead. Relativity. Well, what about this other equation? That's the Lorenzo equation. It deals with length. You're a Lorenzo equation that deals with length. No, I am not. Now. As we see, we have the length that an object has over its initial length times the square root of 1 minus velocity squared over the speed of light squared. As velocity gets close to the speed of light, this number here gets bigger. As that gets bigger, the whole system gets smaller. So her initial... This is the Lorenzo equation for the relativity of length. It solves for an object's length and has variables of length and velocity. Happening to me? I, I'm feeling smaller. You're right, Super Janie. As your velocity increased, your length got smaller. I'm feeling really small right now. Yes, you'll eventually be crushed into nothingness. Uh-oh. The moral of this story is that nothing can move at the speed of light. If you were to hypothetically move at the speed of light, your entire body would be crushed into a singularity, you'd break the laws of time, and you most certainly would die. Please run responsibly. <laughs>